Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this video, I'm gonna teach you a super cool design trick to create an overlay scroll effect in your Squarespace website. Sometimes called a sticky scroll, what's going to happen is every single page section will get stuck once it reaches the top of the page and the other page section content will show up on top of it, scrolling as this overlay effect as you scroll down the page. Pretty cool, right? Now there are two lines of code that make this magic happen. Let's hop on into my demo site and I'll show you how it works. So here we are in my demo site and I just have a general page set up with multiple sections. We've got a background image, some text. This one I changed up the colors. I wanted you to see how many different page sections I have on this page. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into design and then scroll down to custom CSS. Now the code I just pasted here is listed in the description below, but let's see how this works. As soon as we start scrolling, you'll notice the difference. You see how these page sections will stop at the top? This is what we're doing with that code. What we're telling the browser is when this page section reaches the very top of the browser window, I want it to stick there. And then we added the scroll behavior of smooth, which is allowing these other page sections to scroll right on top of it. Now nothing's happening to the footer because I've added hashtag page at the beginning. This is just the page section. I don't want this to happen with my footer content. So just the pages themselves are getting this effect. Isn't that cool? Now one other thing I like to add is the box shadow. I like to give it a little more depth so I'm going to say box shadow, 5px, 5px, uh, let's give it a spread of 15, and we'll make it slightly transparent. I will paste this code in the description below. I'm also going to add important, spelled correctly, there we go, so the browser picks up my code. And now let's see what this added depth looks like. As we scroll, we get a shadow that's actually showing between these layers of page sections. This shadow is going to be on top of the layer underneath it, creating even more depth within our page section. I love this look and thought it was too cool not to share. Now box shadow or not, whatever you're done with there, go ahead and select save and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. And again, those two lines of code that we just used are listed in the description below. If you liked this video, be sure to like and comment below, letting me know if you're gonna use this overlay scroll effect on your own website. And be sure to subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week. Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.